this is Ken. Welcome to the Information Nation. Uh, I know you can't see me, what you're seeing right now is road. What we're doing is we're on our way up to Hebron, Illinois. <clears throat> it's a couple miles from the Wisconsin border. They're having a food giveaway for veterans who are unemployed. Um, I thought we should bring the impact of 9.6% unemployment uh, to the forefront. Let's put a few things uh, in perspective and uh, put some faces to this unemployment, to what Obama thinks is a big damn joke. You look at these people here, most of the veterans there are Vietnam veterans. Uh, you have some Desert Storm and uh, veterans, some younger veterans, but mostly they're the older veterans. <clears throat> now these companies out there that say that they have they take care of the veterans, they hire veterans, veterans first, all of this stuff. But when it comes to the older veterans, they really don't want to hire guys that are in their 50s, in their 60s. The problem being is they're missing out on a ton, and I mean a ton of experience. That's the bad part. They're missing out on experience. Some of these people have 30, 40, 45 years worth of experience in their chosen fields. We have engineers. We have logistics people. We have tool room supervisors, manufacturing engineers, process engineers. And these people can't find jobs. Why? It's not because they don't have the experience. It's basically because they're too old and they demand too high of an income. So these companies go out and they hire somebody younger who can't quite do the job. And in the long run, it ends up costing them more money. But we're going to put some faces to this uh, unemployment, to this economy. Uh, I'll talk to you later when we get there. All right, what we're pulling up to now is New Horizons. It's a facility that houses uh, homeless veterans, guys that have had uh, some very rough times and uh, have not been able to make ends meet. Um, they'll house them for up to two years, and they'll try to help these people the best that they can. We'll get back to you later. Well, the truck got here early today, so a lot of people have come and gone. There'll be more. They'll be filing in for the next couple of hours. So I won't get a chance to interview anybody today, but um, gives you a general idea of what's going on. It's being distributed from a uh, garage behind the uh, facility here. Some of the people that are helping out are veterans that live at the facility. And uh, mostly it's veterans. You can see that uh, a lot of them are older veterans. The food that they're getting is being donated from like Jewel and Piggly Wiggly and uh, Meyer, uh, and it helps. It helps these veterans a lot. It helps cut down on their food bills. Uh, a lot of them are disabled veterans. You know, some have uh, got medical issues. Some are basically classified as legally blind. But this is where, when you make a donation to the food, local food pantry, this is basically where it comes from. And this is what Jewel and Myers and Walmart and uh, Piggly Wiggly and other ones do. You know, we can get people that rip on these, uh, on these corporations uh, because they don't pay enough or, you know, for whatever reason, whatever some... Uh, activist wants to whatever some community organizer wants to scream and holler about these people here's the reality of these corporations and what they do they help their veterans there's a lot of companies out there that do good for the veterans for the uh, disabled uh, veterans retired veterans but there's a lot of companies out there that don't do anything for them but this is the reality of the economy that we're living in right now so, I just wanted to make you aware of this. This is Ken for the Information Nation. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Bye.